Good day, it's Rowena List from gettingittogether.ca and today I'd like to chat with you about how to organize for a quarantine part four. Yes, we are still in our quarantine period with COVID-19 and with a few restrictions lifted, but a lot of us are still at home working on different projects, maybe organizing, maybe uh, getting the kids doing a little bit more. And I came across, well, I knew I had them, obviously, but my annuals, my school annuals, I'm getting ready to, well, we would have been getting ready to celebrate our 50th high school reunion from Burnaby South Secondary School, and it's been put on hold or canceled permanently. And I've got my yearbooks here, and I think I never look through them. I never resource them, and I'm in touch with so few people that I went to high school with. Our graduating class was well over 600 people. And why am I keeping these? I remember desperately wanting that high school reunion, or sorry, the high school yearbook when I was in grade 12 and we just had no money and my mom said if I saved and worked and maybe returned pop bottles that I could get it and I so desperately wanted it and haven't looked at it hardly ever at all. Maybe when there's a reunion like the 20th, 30th, 40th and the 50th, it's time for them to go. They take up valuable space, they're heavy when they get them all together, and if I really wanted to connect with somebody, I could find them on social media, or of course they're already in my circle of influence, so then I already am hanging out with them and see them. Have you got high school yearbooks that you're wondering what to do with? I think it's time to part with them, unless you have a brilliant idea, in which case share it in the comments below and pick up a few more tips down there on how to organize for a quarantine part four. Check out gettingittogether.ca. Be safe, wash your hands, be healthy. Take good care.